Okay, this video is for those of you that are trying to decide which size alpine dog coat to get for your dog and how to measure appropriately. So uh, what we're talking about today is uh, referring to the alpine, both the alpine puffer coats, which is the one I'm holding here, and the alpine all-weather dog coats as well. The, sa the sizing is exactly the same for them. Let's take a look at the sizing chart on, uh, on the product page. If you, if you haven't looked at it already, go ahead and pull it up on the product page. You're going to notice it shows a couple of different ranges of uh, measurements. Now, the most important two to look at are going to be the chest girth and the back length. Uh, the weight range, I wouldn't really pay attention to that. It's more um, as just a, a ballpark uh, idea to get you looking at the right, right uh, in the right range of coats. But I would look at the chest girth and the back length. They're the most appropriate by far. Um, looking at the the uh, back length, you're, let's take the extra large coat for example. Um, you'll notice on the sizing chart that the extra large says it has an 18 inch. Uh, back length. And so what that is referring to is the actual length of the coat itself. If you take the measurement um, excluding this, uh, this neck flap portion, but if you were to take the measurement all the way down, you'll see it's right at about, right at about 18 inches, give or take. It's not exactly perfect, but um, so that gives you an idea of how long the, the coats actually are. And, and to match it up with your dog, you're gonna to wanna to take the measurement from right at about the base of the, of the neck or um, right where the shoulders start and measure it all the way down to where the, uh, the tail starts of your dog. This can be a little difficult because you know dogs are wiggly and all that stuff. So just do the best you can and maybe take the measurement a couple of times just to, to try to get it as accurate as possible. It's gonna be okay if this coat um, doesn't go all the way to the end of the tail or maybe it overhangs a little bit, that's okay. So uh, the chest girth range, you're going to notice on our sizing chart that uh, on the extra large it says it goes up to a 25 inch chest girth. Now the, the manufacturer sizing chart actually says it goes up to 26 and um, I'm going to show you here in a second that it, it does fit around a 26 inch chest girth but um, some customers were, were, you know, complaining that it, uh, or not complaining, but they're just, they didn't like how tight it was and constricting it was uh, around their dog's chest when their dog was at the high end of, uh, of the range of a certain size coat. Um, so what we've done on, on our uh, measurement guide is we knocked an inch off of the top end. Um, so for ours, it's gonna say that the extra large fits up to a 25 inch chest and this is just to give a little bit of wiggle room and uh, for your dog and to, to have a little bit of a looser fit uh, so that they can have a full range of motion and, and run and play and all that without being constricted feeling. Um, so back to this right here. This is to represent a, uh, the dog's chest girth. So um, this is the part behind the front legs of your dog where it dips down the deepest. And so if I was taking this measurement, you can see here at this, I've got this to represent right at about 26 inches, right on the money. So um, this is the extra large, this is the extra large size puffer coat. And what you want to do is make sure that you know how to adjust these adjustment straps all the way in and all the way out. And I've actually got an, another video that shows how to do that. You want to make sure that you you don't leave any slack so for example when you get them all the way out you want to make sure that the strap adjuster on both sides is touching up against the the clips and that there's no excess loop or slack underneath here so once you got it like that you know that it's let all the way out let me put it around here just just to show you that um, the, the size extra large, it would fit. You can see it already it's kind of kind of tight to clip, but it would fit as a dog with a 26 inch chest. However, it, it, it's pretty tight. It, some customers might or some dogs might find this to be a little bit constricting. So that's why we say, um, you know, on on the extra large size, for example, uh, up to 25. If your dog is maybe 25 and a half or something this might the extra large might still work as well but 
26 um, and definitely anything over, it, it would be way too tight and we'd recommend going up to the next size. Hopefully that gives you an idea of how to look at the sizing chart we have on our on our site and how to pick the appropriate size for your dog. If you have any questions, of course, um, reach out to me anytime by email and I'd be happy to help. Or you can just make a note in the comments section during checkout um, with your dog's measurements and we can double check, check them for you before sending the code out. Um, thanks so much. I hope this was helpful.